Hey, I'm Knight. How are you, buddy? I'm good, bud. <laughs> good seeing you again. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm checking out all your posters behind you. How sweet. Fresh meat. You know, I got to tell you, I've been watching you, your career, and I, I'm always fascinated by the choices you make. What was it about this particular graphic novel that you felt would work so well with your style, the way you see things? Well, I was really excited about it feeling different than some of the other pieces. And, and I think the primary thing of uh, being in a location uh, rather than inside of a, 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 a building or a house, because I love claustrophobia, I love containment. And I want that's kind of a kind of a ubiquitous thing that I think is necessary for me to make movies that uh, have a kind of uh, incompleteness to it and insinuative quality and also that we make for a small number. But this one was outside. And I, I just thought that the mania of this was something that I really love this kind of I can do containment, but then the mania of them like spinning and people losing their minds on this beach uh, was very provocative and exciting. Well, it's also the idea that, you know, the, the, it's something, age is something that scares people. Mm -hmm. it, it's a terrifying concept. Do, was there anything that you felt you needed to change or to that, that kind of a, a different route? Because I feel like you stayed, for, for the most part, pretty cl close to the actual source material. Yeah, they, I thought he did a great job with the, with the movement of the story and this kind of dark, humorous approach to some of the events that happened and... Um, I, you know, I was wondering whether everyone would connect with the, the, the basic premise of this, that, you know, there is no monster chasing you. It's it's time. And, and that's what's chasing you. You're changing, you know, and and the person next to you is changing. And uh, what are the what are the ramifications if time is moving that fast? And um, it it turned out that everybody connects with this really deeply, this, this kind of idea of being scared uh, about dying in this form, I, you know? So um, I think we're all trying to come to some healthier version of our relationship with time. And I think the pandemic even made us think about this because it forced us to slow down. And we realized, wow, we're, we're, you know, we, everyone looked around and took stock of their lives for a second and went, how did I get here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I, I think that's what you, what I like about what you choose is that you take you do take chances and you kind of go outside the border. It's almost like you create a an art house cinema piece of cinema that kind of works outside of the box in a way. Yeah, uh, the, the joke running joke on set was I'm making a Bergman blockbuster. That was the kind <laughs> of the, that was the running joke because I was doing these long, slow zooms and like these kind of, you know, emotional, like, you know, dra dramatic pieces. And then, oh, yeah. And then now you're going to die. And it was like this. <laughs> that, 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 it's kind of strangely true because they're my two loves, the, the kind of this independent spirit and, and, and then the kind of the, the, the visceralness of, a, of an experience of a ride. Right. Well, we got to wrap. It's, it's so good to see you, man. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, Even too. if it's this way. <laughs> Cheers, man. Good care. luck with the movie. No kids allowed on the beach? What? I'm not true. Oh, no. Oh, no. We never leave each other. Nothing separates us. Are we there yet? You said five minutes. Technically, it's been more than five minutes. Let's just all start slowing down. Wow, can you believe I found this online? Well, I guess it's not that secret a beach. Whoa! Who would leave this? From the hotel! They're so rusted! What's happening? Found stuff from the hotel in the sand. I don't know. What happened to her? Her body has decomposed. How quickly can that happen? Seven years. But she just died. Wait, where are the kids? Trent! Kara! Come here! Hey, have you seen my children? Mom? I'm, I'm right here. Why are you 
looking at me like that. What's happening to us? My daughter just turned six two weeks ago. Mom. Whatever's happening to us is happening very fast. You have wrinkles. There's something wrong with this beach. What's happening? Mom! 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 I'm scared! We have to get off this beach! People are blacking out going this way. If she makes it to the ledge, she might have a chance. Why is she stopping? Why is she stopping? Carol, wake up! Wake up! They have to know what this place does. I don't know! You're lying! Look! What is that? A message. We never leave each other. Nothing separates us. We're connected to something bigger. Oh no. We're here for a reason. Gael, I love the hair, by the way. Thank I feel you. like this is, <laughs> when did this happen? What's this for? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. So I got to say, this is an interesting character. Did, were you familiar at all with uh, the the actual graphic novel? It, actually, no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't familiar with it. And, uh, and as soon as the idea of the film came about, uh, and when I was invited into the film, uh, there was an opportunity for me to to read it and to look at it, but I decided not to. Hmm. Because why, why was it? Why why that decision? Well, it was just because I'm doing Knight's interpretation of that, you know. So in a yeah. way, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it afterwards, and I read it afterwards, and I'm, I was very glad that it was very different. It was inspired a lot, you know, but it's, but it's, uh, it's different in, in a way, but, uh, but no, I hadn't had the pleasure to, to have read it. I don't know how my reaction would have been if, if I would have had, uh, read it. It's one of those things that just, you know, destiny puts you there, you know, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> you think it makes sense, the idea that, you know, you, you, when you read that much detail, which you would in a short story or a graphic novel or anything like that, you're going to get a lot of details that maybe you wouldn't think of on your own as an actor. So it kind of makes sense you didn't want to go there. Yeah. I, and you're dealing with such, I, I mean, I can't even imagine, watching your child grow up is a hard enough experience, let alone happening in a day. Where where were you emotionally during this? To be like, able how to did you... that. Yeah, well, it's uh, that was one of the biggest challenges in the, in the film. And um, and we all had to, to kind of come up with, a, you know, not, not a solution as such, but uh, a way of how to interpret this, you know, um, because it's really complicated. It's 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 really. I mean, time is a is the most basic common denominator between us as a, as a you know a, a, an understanding a, a mutual understanding of existence. Time, in a way, travels the same. You no, know? we experience mm -hmm. it differently, but you know, time goes on the way that we kind of you know we formatted it. You no, know? and and uh, and it's there. But when time gets altered, in that sense. Uh, we lose complete control of everything we know uh, mm -hmm. and everything that matters and everything that, uh, you know, uh, all the points of references are, are lost. So uh, that was one of the biggest challenges to interpret. How the hell would the characters, inter uh, 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 what would they do if something like this would happen to them? And mm -hmm. so, but that's, you know, ultimately that's what actors <laughs> do. That's what we do all the time with, with fictitious elements and with a uh, with um, a huge amount of uh, of positive limitations in a way, yeah. we are kind of uh, supposed to interpret this with artifice, uh, to try to find uh, a truth, you know, uh, mm -hmm. a truth that works for what you're doing, and it is not an overwhelming truth or or an absolute truth because obviously what we're doing is not. Uh, a scientific uh, approach in terms of <laughs> well, how would people react in this situation, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. but it is a, it is a, an allegory, a kind of, um, you know, um, a poetic tangent in a way. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Did, how was, uh, you know, Knight steering the ship for you guys? How was it working with him and finding that? Oh, fantastic as well, because Knight is a person that, I mean, you only look at all his filmography. He's a person that, has a, a strong sense of the semiotic language and, and a very good 
uh, way to, to approach it, you know, and, and uh, to think about it before shooting it and to uh, kind of design it and, uh, and to cast us accordingly. Yeah. Uh, what, what's interesting also is that, that, uh, that once we were there, you know, doing it, trying out, trying out different things, well, obviously, when you put out the scene, you know, when you put, uh, put things up in the stage, in a way, that's where you see if things work or don't work. Uh, and, uh, and so he was good at kind of uh, molding things accordingly to what worked and what didn't. And, um, and little by little, we started to kind of, um, you know, yeah, organize a kind of a, a way of how to make this film. Uh, but it was also a challenge, a big challenge for him because he hadn't shot in a, in a, in a beach before all the time, you know, and, and, and there were a lot of uh, limitations that, again, like I said, I mean, they were very positive ones because they sparked our creativity all the time. And uh, we incorporated everything that nature kind of gave us, you know, in order to make the film. Uh, well, dude, we gotta wrap it up. I, 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 that's so great. You're a terrific actor. I'm a big fan of your work, buddy. Oh, thank you, man. That's very nice. <laughs> of you.